Kathy, how long have you been attending Canyon Springs Church? About 15 years. Um, one Sunday, Kyle and I were headed to the Catholic Church, and we kept seeing the sign for Canyon Springs every Sunday. And that particular Sunday, we were too, just way too late to go into church. So I said to Kyle, should we go to the new church, or should we wait for the next service? And he goes, new church, Mommy. So we go to the new church and walk in, and it was People were greeting us and it was great and walked in and sat down and I looked around and I'm the only one there. And I thought, am I in the wrong place? And then finally, um, people started coming in and immediately we felt at home and just started coming every Sunday. And then eventually Alan joined us and started coming too. What happened a few years back that changed your life? In 2010, Alan was diagnosed with ALS. And being the stubborn, self-sufficient control freaks that both Alan and I were, uh, we just thought we could handle it alone. Um, but God had other plans for our life. And immediately the um, Angels Care Ministry offered to help and we just kept saying, we've got it. Until one day, Alan took a really bad fall and was transported to the hospital. He came home from the hospital permanently in a wheelchair and that's when all of our so-called control started to crumble. And then how did the care ministry play a role in your life at that point? The very next day they showed up and started building wheelchair ramps inside and outside of our house. We were in a two-story house and we we just really needed those and they helped with various other um, needs right at that time too. So what was Alan's reaction to this army of angels surrounding you? It really took him aback because he's always been the guy that can do everything himself and for himself. So to just sit there and allow other people to do things for him was really hard. Uh, but it also was God working on his heart and completely changed his heart, seeing the love of Jesus through these people that were there very joyously serving us. What decisions did Alan make during this time period? Um, I, I would say seeing how um, seeing Jesus' love through these people um, made him want to get baptized. And so he went to church in his wheelchair and got baptized just a few months before he went home to be with the Lord. So how has the Lord worked on you since Alan went home with him? Um, he's been just really nudging me to reignite the care ministry and um, I'm still stubborn um, argued with God that um, you know God I, I, I think you just really want me to find someone that can lead it he said no I prepared you for this I want you to do it and I'll be with you and I said but God you know I'm not prepared to serve a bunch of people right now and he said then I'll bring you one at a time until you're ready, and then I want you to go find a team to serve alongside you. And that's what's happened. So how do we go about it? If it's on my heart to serve on this ministry, what are my next steps? There, we'll be handing out a card that lists all of the areas where you could volunteer, um, as well as it'll be on the Canyon Springs website. Um, you can go on that website and sign up to volunteer on any one of the many teams that we have. Throughout our lives, everyone is going to need help, and it doesn't mean that we're weak. In fact, it makes us stronger, stronger in our faith in the Lord and stronger in our trust in Him. Um, even if your need is just something as simple as a, a meal after you've had a baby, it's, it's just amazing to allow people to do that. Um, both of you will be served by doing that, and you will see the love of Jesus in them. Thank you for letting me share my story.